So here we are, back with Assassin's Creed, and this is a weird way to start a mission. It's a driving carriage. <laughs> or riding. There we go. Yeah, let's start this. I had to follow it across London <laughs> and finally slow down. Mr. Fry, I told you to make an appointment. My schedule was open. You're fortunate I like you. <laughs> Internal combustion engines. Eight small syllables that mean a great deal of money. The engines will be delivered to Milner by train. Secure them for me, and he will be devastated. Mm. I need a second train to pull this off. And I think I know just the man. So we have a deal, Mr. Fry? You're fortunate I like you, Miss Attaway. Alright, so we cannot kill a policeman. How are we supposed to free him? Hmm. Come on now. Come on. Oh, there you go. For some reason it stopped. Yeah. That's a glitch, I don't mind. <laughs> so, what do you want, Fry? What makes you so sure I want something? Perhaps I saved you out of the kindness of my own heart. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let me tell you about the job. Miller's pulling a lot of cargo there. Just be sure to make the transfer. Give him hell. I will. We don't have all day. Get cracking. Oh, don't carry the body. Oh, 
볼까요? 바이 바이 I guess it's this wagon. Yeah, there we go. It has to be it. No. Here we go. What are we defending you from? The internal combustion engine. The end of horse-drawn transport. <laughs> It's like gazing into the future. And what is the going rate for the future, do you think? Uh, we're not selling them. You're giving them to your contact? You'd be paid all the same. Who is this Pearl, anyway? How long have you been working with her? She's a business partner. That's all you need to know. Oh yeah, full sync. James, I hope I didn't make it too laddie da. Slap some gold leaf here and there. I gave the wood a splash of shellac. I've holstered the lot. And how do you like the lampshades? I love it, but you don't like the place. Zebra. Let me see what uh, this gain is. If it is any good. Or is it this one? Yeah, definitely better. Let's go for this one and upgrade. Yes. Nice. Any new belts? Mm, no. Nope. Have we got new? But they are old. Let's show Edward. No, that's about it. Next mission. Um.
There it is. Right, I'll see you guys there in a second. Just gonna fast travel. And then when I'm here, I'll we'll see you guys there. Here we are, back for another mission from Alexander Graham Bell. Who? That looks interesting. <laughs> Jacob, Evie, it's you. Thank goodness. Experimenting, are we, Alec? Correct. And looking a bit frazzled. Nerves. It's those great oafs static keeps sending round to coax me. He is offering a ridiculous amount of money. Alec, you're not thinking of jumping ship, are you? Never. I've been working in something in case they get too insistent. Uh, it's meant to stun an assailant, should they need a rise. Are you certain that it works? Uh, not as such. I've made three of them with varying degrees of acidity and whatnot. But one must be the right formula. Let's find some Staric lackeys to target then, shall we? Speaking of Staric, he is still transmitting false information. We could simply destroy his transmitters. His company's too well guarded. Um, the bombs will help, but it would be awkward to produce bombs that potentially do not stun. Oh, wait a minute. Looks like opportunity has come knocking. Oh dear, they never looked so angry before. Stand clear, Alec. Let us instead play a little linguistic game with them. Um, take the bombs and climb onto the roof. Uh, when I see the name of uh, a fruit, toss one near the thugs. Right then. Oh, uh, oh wait, uh, I nearly forgot. Um, slip these into your boots and you will henceforth be immune to all voltaic discharge. I think. <laughs> you better be uh, sure, mate. <laughs> I don't want to be electrocuted. <laughs> Alright, so killing or alerting the talks will count as discrimination. So. It will not kill them. All right. Good day, gentlemen. Oh, I would ask you in for tea, but I'm afraid I'm running rather late. Enough of the nice teas. We've come to smash your place up, ain't we, Bess? You got one of them telly what's it's in here, ain't ya? You? You've been reading messages from the Steric Company. That is as untrue as the notion that the Steric Telegraph Company is emitting impartial information, sir. So, Come again? Your employer's promises are nothing but hot air, and his operations are about to turn pear shaped. What you going on about air and pears for? Oh, it did not work. Me. And to think I worried you had the mental agility of a dollop of donkey's apples. <laughs> apples? I think he's trying to be funny. Oh, Why is it not working? You little sod. Well, I me, Bez. Oh, oh, go blimey, it's got me throat. Oh, oh, those rascals throwing stink bombs again. It happens all the time around here. You 
right. Tell us where you keep that telly what's it. I'll count to three. Three? Well, well, let's see how far you get. One. Do you really think I would keep it here? Do you see a cable? A telegraph without a cable is about as useful as a bell without a clapper. I'll give you a bleeding clapper. Well, bless my boots, you're as purple as a plum. Do not kill him, Mr. Blue. Bravo, Alec. Thanks to you, Jacob. Your mere presence gave me courage and resolve I never knew I had. <laughs> I found myself rather witty too. Well, make some more bombs and let's sort out Starek's propaganda machine, shall we? That cannot kill him, he needs to invent uh, the telephone. <laughs> Otherwise he changed the course of history. Come on, we haven't got all day. The longer we can keep Staric from spewing out false information, the more we can awaken the people with the truth about his operations. Let's get to it then. Would you believe my mother says there are still some wives in her street that swear by that soothing syrup? So I took it upon myself to tell her neighbors the truth about the obnoxious draft. Good on you, Alec. But you can't go knocking on everyone's door. No, I wasn't always welcome. Which shows how false information can be as difficult to stamp out this is a very sweet carriage. I say it right now. <laughs> or rats in the sewers. But if we can eradicate the source that continually feeds such detrimental trash, then little by little the truth will take the upper hand and the sham will be flushed out. Let's crack on then. Here we are. We will have to get in without being detected, mind. While I stun them. You sneak inside. I shall destroy not one, but three parts of the transmitter. He'll be as good as dancing before a public toilet without a penny. Where can we go down here? Is there entry point somewhere? Keep your eyes peeled for trouble. It has to be here. Yeah, there you go. I know. Come on, Mr. Bell. Have to cross over here. Give me the news. Already minimized the public hangers. 
I see. This is becoming rather perilous, to say the least. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Jolly close save that. Nice shooting. But I've pulled it as well as a dentist pulls a rotten tooth. There. Out of Move the on way. to the next part, Alec. Ah, I think this one took a shot at me once. Ah, serves you right. I'll back you up if you're in any bother, Jacob. Ah, ready to fight. Oh, man, I see. Late. This is becoming rather perilous, to say the least. Yeah, of course. There we go, easy enough. I like uh, Mr. Bell's missions. My dears, Jacob Evie, thanks are once again in order for supporting what is most dear to me and to our cause, freedom of speech. It's a blessing that you employ your genius for the common good, Alec. However, I suggest you vacate your workshop. Uh, no need. Not now you've given me sacks full of courage. And besides, what with my little devices, I have all the protection I need. Uh, should you find yourselves with a moment to spare, do a drop by. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Another full sink. Hi, yeah. All right, this is going to be the end of this video. I hope to see you guys for the next video. Then we will be playing as Eevee again. We will be going to this mission. All right, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the flip side.